Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Zebra Bleen Retractable Ballpoint Pen. And as if you have ever gotten pens from Amazon, this is probably not an unusual thing for you to see. You get like a three pack, and they give you some kind of weird little post it note thing here. Uh, these. I want to say the 12 pack was like. Or the six pack was like. Wow. The three pack was like $12. So. You get your little post it note stationary things. I actually have used these a little bit as sort of markers in my journal. My, I, carry a, I carry a pocket journal. Um, well, it's actually not within reach at the moment. But um, I carry a pocket journal and. Uh, you can you can use these like as little like markers, page markers, that kind of thing. All right, so let's take a look at this. So these are obviously Japanese from the tags on them. So let's take a look at the tags. So. They are 0.5 millimeters. So they're 0.5 millimeters. So I'm assuming it doesn't look like. I'm trying to find the. There's a price. I think the price is right there, that 150. So we're paying a bit extra if that's 150 yen. As opposed to like roughly four dollars each for a twelve pack. So the deal with these, as I understand it, is they're not supposed to make any noise. They're supposed to be super quiet. Like they're not supposed to. I can hear a teeny tiny bit of noise, but they're generally supposed to be super quiet. So let's try this out. I think. Huh. I'm pretty sure when I ordered them, it said 0.7, but I'm pretty sure that's 0.5. All right, well, let's try this out and see. There it looks. Well, I can't really tell. We'll see in a minute. So this is a zebra. Yeah, it does not look like 0.7. Zebra, bling, ballpoint. And all three of these are the same, they're just ball points. Ball point. So let's see. And as with anything, let's take it apart. So I'm assuming I twist. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so you twist. Usual. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's 0 0.5 millimeter. Okay then. I thought it was 0.7. Maybe they sent the wrong thing from Amazon or got packed wrong. Anyway. They're not bad little pins. They're relatively comfortable. There's like a... There's kind of like a... A little bit of a... Texture... I guess maybe comfort area here. On the barrel. They're not bad pins. I mean like... They're they're okay. Um, for four dollars, I don't really have any huge objections to these pins. They seem functional. And they're kind of neat looking. They kind of have a weird, almost iPod feel to them. They look like you know ergonomic. Mm, anyway, let me know what you think. If you've tried these out and you like them or you hate them, let me know in the comments. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.